What's up boys, girls, and sci-fi nerds? My name is Brandon and welcome to another episode of the Q Review. Today we're going to be talking about Warehouse 13. You probably can't see it behind me and I will never figure out which way to point because it's reversed. Anyway, we're talking about Warehouse 13 which is a little odd for the Q Review. Normally we do movies um, and by we, I mean me. I'm big enough to count as two people. Whatever. Uh, so today we're doing a TV show. Um, I believe I've done one, bef one before. Um, but today we're going to talk about Warehouse 13, which was a sci-fi original series that ran for five seasons. Um, it just recently ended in 2014. I'm going to be honest with you, you can only get the first three seasons on Netflix. But then you can jump over to Amazon Prime and get the other two. They are well worth any penny you have to spend to watch these episodes. I'm going to come right out the gate and hit you hard. This show is a perfect 5 out of 5. Um, IMDb gives it a 7.6 out of 10. I can't tell you what Netflix gives it because I've got it gold star, gold star five because it's awesome. Um, so basically, two Secret Service agents, which is a running joke in the show that they're Secret Service agents, um, save the president from some things that happen, and basically we start to fall down a rabbit hole of the fact that uh, sci-fi exists, paranormal exists, all this stuff is real, which it is obviously, and. Um, so basically, these two agents, Pete and Micah, um, soulmates, soulmates, I'm telling you, uh, these two people are then recruited by a an internal part of the government, and basically they go to Warehouse 13, where we meet Artie, who kind of is in charge of it, and basically this warehouse is where you will find all the things that Paranormal has attached to or any um, any mysterious items and basically the show is really history based a lot of the episodes will have to do with like um, I can't think of one off the top of my head it's been so long since I've watched the show but god is it good um, they've got like a Blinken's top hat or like Adolf Hitler's pen and things like that and to where they have to go track these items down neutralize them Take them back to the warehouse. It's very X-Files um, kind of based. And as you watch the show, you can pinpoint Dana and Scully onto Pete and Micah like friggin' it's cut and paste. I mean, but that's not to say that this show is, is mockery or that sci-fi didn't try. This is the best show I've ever... This is the best anything I've seen on sci-fi. Um... I'm mad that it's end that it ended, you know, obviously, because I love the show so much. And we do get two more characters, Claudia and Pete. Uh, Claudia is Allison Scagliotti, I believe that's how you pronounce her name, who was Mindy Crenshaw from Drake and Josh, which if you're in my age group, you uh, light up when you see her because she's just wonderful and um, total total doll she's just beautiful and she's funny and she's awesome and i will quit gushing about how great she is but she becomes the hacker like assistant girl of Artie in the show and then she eventually becomes an agent as well and then we meet pete peter P P P P P what's his name it's pete something come on um, basically he, he becomes another agent like Pete and Mike. it's not Pete then, cause Pete and Micah, what is wrong with me? His name is Steve. It's, st okay. His name is Steve. If you're still hanging on, I just, I truly apologize. But Warehouse 13 is a fabulous show. All five seasons are well worth your time and very X-Files influenced. If you haven't seen X-Files, then obviously you're missing out. That'll be a Q review in itself. But um, five out of five, best sci-fi show you're ever gonna see. I can guarantee you, I can guarantee that to you. Um, I can't go into too much detail without me sitting here for the until the SD card and my camera runs out because the show is just so good. Uh, there are five seasons and like I said, um, for example, it's, it's procedural. Like, they find out that um, there's uh, a football loose in uh, St. Louis, and for some reason it's knocking people's heads off. Like, it just 
it knocks it right off. And so they go track this thing down, they find it, they put it in the purple goo, they take it to the warehouse and they figure out why it's doing this, who it's from, and you know, lo and behold, it's it's Joe Madden's football, and it's mad because somebody pulled out in front of Joe Madden in traffic. It's it's zany, it's ridiculous, but it's amazing. It's so good, and um, you get such an attachment to the characters that when the show ends, you really do feel like a part of you died. Like there's just this void for for weeks, at least for me, until you can find another show or characters or what have you. Or if you're married, you got a wife that could fill that void, but. But Warehouse 13 is better than women. And not to be misogynistic, I just mean that in some cases, this TV show is better than any relationship you could have. Because it is perfect. So, man, woman, in-betweener, anything. This show is perfect for you. Go check it out. I love you guys so much. Once again... The Q reviews are coming back. I'm back in the swing of things, you know. I'm, I'm trying to get them all out. Um, but Warehouse 13 is phenomenal. I, I can't go over it enough. Go check it out. Uh, leave me a comment. Give me some suggestions for some shows. G tell me what you want to hear about. You know, I can really only go over the plot and uh, kind of when it was released, who directed it, actors, that kind of stuff, without going into too much spoiler territory. Um, I can I could go a little more spoilery. I don't want to ruin things for people, obviously, but leave me a comment. Tell me what you want. Do you just want intro? You know, tell me what it's about. Give me a review and shut up, because I can do that. I know people like short form videos, so just give me a tip. Tell me what you like. I will see you guys very very soon. There should be multiple videos for you to digest. Um, Abby, my wife, who you've seen in some of the podcasts or consume cast reviews, reacts, all those kind of things. She has sent me quite a few videos of her weirdness. If you know my wife, she's a wonderful woman, but God, is she a weirdo. And those will be going up here and there. They're just short little, like, funny. I'm going to edit them and, like, they're bad on purpose kind of things. Like, just B-movie, like, weird and just zany kind of stuff is what we're into. Drop me a like. Subscribe once again. Tell your friends that I am terrible at this and... You know, I put myself down, you can't put me down, ha ha ha. Um, anyway, I try. I love you guys so much. Tell people about the Q reviews. Leave me a comment for real. Tell me what you want. And do you want me to bring Abby into the Q reviews? We can do it a twosome. Um, that kind of stuff. But for the time being, I love you guys so much. Go check out Warehouse 13. It'll take care of at least a month and a half of your time. And it's all you'll think about. And you'll love it so much. And I swear to you, it is the best show that sci-fi has ever released. And it's one of the best sci-fi, S-C-I-F-I, not S-Y-F-Y. Why did they rebrand to that? But it's one of the best sci-fi shows you'll ever watch. I love you guys so much. Goodbye!